Welcome, guitar people. Well, today, guitar stuff, but also not. Strap in for a probably lengthy video about the new XS wireless or XSW system from Lucenizer, as they say in France. Now, a little bit of le histoire, history. I always go for the best of the best when it comes to mics and cameras and all this stuff because I want to bring you great videos, which in here is relatively easy because I have a really high-end setup. However, when traveling, it's a problem. I always fought with what do I record to, um, which is either like a Roland recorder or a Zoom F8 or something like this. And I never had the best of luck of getting the super highest quality. I didn't want to depend on an external recorder because mic preamps and all that stuff. So, which is why when I go to NAMM and, and places, I either record directly onto my A7 III, uh, which means I need a mini 3.5 millimeter plug, which isn't the greatest professional connection, but it works. Or I go to the camera that you can't see. Actually, you can. Right there. That's my Canon XF400 because it has this nifty handle and that has actual XLR inputs. And you can set up all the, you know, stuff you need. So this is definitely a great way to do it. What I love about this thing, about this camera, is it can record four channels at the same time. So it can record the two XLRs and the mini three and a half millimeter something input for the mic, for an external mic, um, which gives me at NAMM technically a handheld, a laugh, and a guitar mic. If I could interface with it, which means some form of XLR which technically means some form of wireless XLR or a cable. Yeah, well, you don't want to run a cable at trade shows because people are idiots and they will trip over it and kill your camera. Now, the system that I depend on is my Sennheiser AVX wireless system, which looks like so. It has different combinations. This is the receiver. This is the sender with the laugh mic on it. There's two different levels, this mic or a cheaper one. Um, there's also a kit that comes with the receiver and a handheld mic. And you've seen me use this. This is very high quality. Uses propri proprietary batteries. So you have to have several of these when you go to some trade show and you want to film for a while. Now this uses a proprietary battery but it's interchangeable, which means if you have several, you can get through the day. The same goes for this transmitter, different kind of proprietary battery, but super high quality. And what's great about these batteries, if you can see right here, they have a micro USB and you can charge the battery directly with any cell phone charger. So there's no extra charger needed. I really think they need to do this for all rechargeable batteries, especially camera batteries. They really should. So this is a great system. And so far, many other systems have failed me, except for this. It just works. It's digital, but I think the cheapest that it starts at is $6.99 for the laugh system. The one with the mic and a laugh and one receiver is a thousand bucks. So for a lot of you, this will not be the system to use for singing vocals live or for recording, especially for vloggers, recording with the camera. Now, there's of course the road shotguns, which many of us like, but there are situations where a shotgun is not going to cut it, which is at NAMM. If the camera's here and I'm here talking to someone, all that's going to record is just... Even a um, lapel mic, a laugh mic, is because it's uh, an omnidirectional, records everything, it's not the greatest way to do it, which is, even though I hate it, why you see me with a handheld mic at NAMM that I can do that with. Okay? Um, now, that doesn't help me for recording a guitar in a video at NAMM which I don't really want to do most of the time anyway because it's more about the people and doing fun stuff, but sometimes it makes sense. So one thing I used to do is take this and just hold it in front of the speaker. That works pretty okay, but it would be great if I could take my trusty 609 from Sennheiser and clip that in front of the speaker. Well, I tried that at now. 
Nux gave me their wireless system. The Nux B3 transmitter receiver. It worked in one out of two videos. And because it didn't work in the one, I didn't want to trust it anymore and didn't use it. I saw Anderton's use this uh, and they didn't have any problems. But I had digital interference because NAM is a very noisy environment and a lot of frequencies fl flying around. And I just didn't want to trust it anymore. So I didn't use it. The other problem with it is um, comes with this cable so you can actually plug it into a normal camera mini input which is something you have to pay attention to if you have like a Canon or some DSLR, you want that adapter because you don't have XLR. Now, I like the fact that this has XLR. And what I wanted to do is plug this side in here, which is what I did, and this into the camera. Now, the problem with it is the length of this shaft. Yes, I said shaft and length. Because if I plug this in here, and I'm not going to do it again, if I plug this in here, it goes all the way in, <laughs> and I cannot push this release. It's just not going to happen. So I have no idea what the people at Nux were thinking, but in the situation where you're using this with an XLR input on a camera, which is what it's designed for, mobile, you know, vlogging stuff, I almost broke my camera. So I'm not going to stick it in again ever, which makes this pretty useless for me. It's a decent system at a decent price. I think it's under 200 bucks. But in an environment where there's a lot of people shooting videos, it just didn't perform. The AVX is my system of choice. But Sennheiser doesn't have this. They don't have something that goes into any kind of mic. Until I ran into the Sennheiser booth at NAMM. And they introduced the XS wireless system. Now, the great thing about the system is that there's many different combinations. There's a transmitter and receiver where the receiver has a 3.5 millimeter plug to go into your camera. There's one with a handheld. There's one, there's only one uh, like the Nux with XLR male, XLR female. There's one with XLR male and then mini and then mini XLR female. There's a uh, laugh. Uh, there's guitar, which we're going to look at. There's any kind of combination, and you can actually probably on order, a special order, buy each individual receiver and transmitter separately. So it's a completely modular system that you can tailor to what your needs are, which is great. So we're going to start with the laugh kit. We're going to open it and look at it. We're going to look at everything. And we're going to test it, which is why this is going to be a lengthy video. But I think this could be a great system. Is it on the level of the AVX in terms of the digital transmission technology, I literally can't tell you because I don't know technology. I know what the down and upsides are. Upside is Sennheiser quality. Again, I have great, great experiences with the AVX system. Um, there's no rechargeable batteries, which means if your transmitter or receiver is empty, you're going to have to have, if you're traveling around, a power bank or some way of charging it. So that means if you want to film all day at a trade show like I do, uh, I'll probably have to ask Sennheiser to send me a second kit. No way around that, I'll probably need that. So, oh, actually I have, hmm, I've got two, oh, might be enough. So here's the laugh kit, so let's look into this. A belt clip for, oh, for the transmitter, good. And this is the transmitter. I'm going to throw this all on the floor. First impression, super nice and light. USB-C chargeable, which is great. I'm going to assume the charger the, or the, the, the cable is included. And here's the 3.5 millimeter thing for the lav mic that goes into it. And here's the lav mic, which is the, I'm going to tell you, it's the ME2 clip-on mic. Oh, and this is actually very uh, good to see what available uh, transmitters and receivers there are. There's even a pedal board receiver that also has a XLR out and it has a built-in tuner. That could be really interesting. Why in the world are we not looking at the pedal board one? That might be a separate video. Isn't that cool? So three different kind of transmitters, four different kinds of receivers, and you can have and there's a different packages. Why didn't I show you this before? It makes total sense. So here's the MKE2. 
which is great. I already have one of those. Comes with a little lapel clip. And here's the actual mic. So we're going to use that. And I really like this because I have two of the ABX systems. If I needed to hook up a third person now with a lapel mic, I can. Um, one thing while I install this on myself that you have to know is the quality of vocal sound is going to change once I plug that in. Why? Well, um, I have a... Let's see where we see that. Nowhere. Not a single camera can see it. Well, it's a Sennheiser video. I have a Shubs C Mini CMIT or CMIT Mini that's pointed at me. And it is really not a fair comparison because this little blue shotgun thing is 1,900 euro. So obviously you cannot compare this with a 300 euro lav mic. I'm going to put this into the cat's eye because this is how I roll. Now we're going to put this here where it should be. Um, there are no different frequencies. You can actually uh, pair the Nuxes on different 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and change frequencies. This is always looking for the best one. I think the AVX system works the same way. So you screw this in, push it in, and then you screw it in. And then you have a stable connection. On all the LAV systems, what I really never trust is this. Because it's a thin cable and this is just asking for breakage. I had a problem with that before. Um but not in a while. So I'm going to plug and turn, turn, turn this on. Apparently, it's looking for its brother, which in this case is not... You can get this with um, 3.5 to 3.5, which means it can go into a normal camera. In this case, this is XLR. So I'm turning this on, and technically, they should find each other. Let's see. Apparently, they found each other. So, that's how simple that is. Ah, okay, okay. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Something that would be nice... Hmm. Let's look on the back again. Okay. That's something we need to try. So, the laugh set comes with USB cable and XLR male connector. Now, what that doesn't allow me is to go into a standard camera. DSLR camera. Um, that is where this XLR to 3.5 mini, mini clean, as we say in Germany, um, from Nux comes in handy. That is also supplied with the AVX system. So at the AVX, there's an adapter to go into a standard camera. Doesn't come with this. Um, and there isn't a laugh, there isn't a system where it looks like that's supplied. So, you might have to buy that cable separately. For now, let's try this. I mean, you use the cable from the... I could use the one from the AVX. I use the Nux, whatever, and see if it works in the camera as well. Um, obviously, then what's missing is the clip. Because for the, for the AVX, I've got this little clip, just like on the Nux, where you then can actually put this in the hot shoe on the camera. Again not supplied with this. So I know for the AVX that's something that it just comes with it. Um, they might not have designed this for camera people. Then again, why not? So let's see. It's connected. Hello, hello, hello. I have level. I'm recording level. I'm recording level. Oh, that's loud. Whoa. Recording level, 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 level. Okay, so I have level on this. That's how simple that was. It looks like it's a relatively high level. I'm going to walk around and see what happens. I'm walking around, I'm walking around. Unless you can follow me on this. Now, of course, with the size of this, <laughs> it would be very easy to just put this into my pants, uh, into my pocket, uh, or it, with a supplied belt clip, Totally neat. How far does this have to work? How far away from your 
recorder would you be realistically if you're working in a 299 euro price point and you're not looking for the super ridiculously professional system, which then has, of course, with the G4 line offers starting at, I think, a thousand. That is, after this comes the AVX and then comes the G4, which is not digital. So the question is, at what point does it not, does it not, yeah, record anymore? Now, I'm about seven meters away and it seems to be doing a good job because I still can see level. Question is, if I go into the old building now, into the main house, um, it's very likely not designed to go through walls. The AVX system really just craps out. Let's see where the cheaper or less expensive XSW is. I'm just going to go to Leslie, which of course where you can't see me. Recording, it says red. No, we're going red. It's red. It's green. It's it's green. 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 It's still green and red. And it's immediately green again. So you do need direct line of sight. How far it can work? I can't really go any further here. Um, but the direct line of sight is desirable. Okay, next test would be, can it record in a camera? For which, um, I'll use this. It's too bad that they don't have that adapter and a little clamp to go on top of the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I get a level here, just plugging it into this camera. This is a A7 III and I'm in here, so you would mount that on the hot shoe if you had that adapter. I turn this around, and yes, it works. It works without a problem. You couldn't hear it right now because we don't have audio from that camera. So that works. So the only thing missing, Sennheiser, is that cable and a holder for the shoe, which doesn't seem to exist in any other setups. This is easily something you can buy separately from Sennheiser, because again, they have it for the ABX, and they also have that clamp. Why it's not included, I don't know. So, I'm gonna go ahead and recording with this. Gonna, this is very neat. I definitely like that form factor. Now, it's under the shirt, but apparently that shouldn't matter, I hope. Um, while we're at mics, let's continue. We have the vocal set. Which is really the same set as the XLR to XLR. But for only 50 euro more, they're giving you a handheld mic, which is neat. It's probably an inexpensive mic from Sennheiser, but uh, who cares, for 50 bucks, getting a handheld mic with it is pretty nifty. And you get a mic holder. So this could be for the vocalist in a band on a budget that wants to go wireless. Oh wait, this feels pretty damn good. This is a, this is not a plasticky thing. For 50 bucks extra, it's the XS1 from Sennheiser. So you could really use this as a, of course, vocal mic in a normal stage situation, but also um, as a reporter mic if you're on a budget. Again, the one thing that's missing is being able to go into a camera, which you can buy extra. Other than that, we have transmitter and receiver. Both XLR, both rechargeable. But again, you need to make sure that both of them are, why is there, why are there colored stickers? Ah, oh, in case someone in the band has more than one of them. So these stickers are nifty because if you have several of these systems within a band, you know which ones belong to a guitar player or which ones go together uh, and are automatically paired. So that is nice. And um, we're just gonna test this. 349 for wireless Sen Sennheiser system not too shabby. So I'm going to plug this in here. I have no idea what the uh, charging status is. I'm assuming, again, I didn't read anything about these, um, that the light somehow will show you. This is yellow right now. 
Now it's green, looking to be paired. And as you can tell, this is still running. So I'm going to run several at the same time. So this now had to be, now it's paired. It of course looked for a different frequency than the one that's already running. So let's see. Plugged into the Apollo Twin. And I have a level here. It looks like, oh, it's hello, hello, hello. I'm going to pull up the level. I have to pull up the level on the, on the laugh mic. I'm at 32 dB input level. And on the, let's see, same position. On the handheld, 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 hal, 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 hal. Oh my God, I'm at 50, 60 dB to get the same kind of input level. That's quite a bit of dubbers. So I'm talking into this and you can hopefully hear the difference. Again, please do not compare this to the uh, Sherps shotgun mic, which is a very, very professional mic that people in film use. Um, sometimes they use the, what's the, the thing, the Sennheiser shotgun MK600 or MKH or something. Uh, it's on that level. So uh, it would not be fair to compare this. This is a vocal mic, primarily to be used in bands or possibly with this in front of a cab. For me, for trade shows, that would be really great. I can see that the levels are pretty much equal now. And uh, I can sing for you. I can sing for you. I can sing with a really high voice. I know I'm making an ass of myself, but I have to show the vocal mic. For example, um, obviously these can only be Oh, that was way too loud. These can only be dynamic mics because this does not supply um, 48 volt phantom power. Now again, what I could do, plug this with the receiver directly into DSLR if you buy the XLR2 mini plug adapter. Um, so right now we have, it looks like I have signal. There's Wi-Fi in here. There's two of these systems right now. But let's see what happens if I turn on the AVX. Which shows you, with a couple of lights, what the battery status is. Um, it's a very different level. So I'm going to turn this AVX on. I'm going to turn this AVX on. Bam. I'm going to turn this AVX on. And let's see if they you know, do something that it's not supposed to do. So we got two AVX transmitters. This is linked, so this is not linked. Um, I'm going to pair this. While we're at it, why not just plugs, plug the NUX system in as well? Uh, on. Not too much battery left, which it shows you with the, with the lights, but that's okay. Only one left. But now this is paired and um, I'm curious, there's five wireless systems running at the same time right now. Um, two from Sennheiser, but different systems and one from Nox, which in this vicinity, being this close to each other, if it doesn't create any problems, technically it shouldn't create any problems in a NAM type environment. That's really all that I can test. Again, there's Wi-Fi in here and other things. So I'm going to go and again at a distance from the receiver and I'm going to talk and talk a little bit and walk around here and blah 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 let's look at the light it is green of course if I go into the kitchen the light will turn red and I will be gone so yes as soon as I get away from the direct line of sight it's a problem. So I'm going to assume that if I'm on a stage about this far away, the stage box where you plug in that receiver should not be hidden behind many things and under things and buried. Um, either have it directly into the mixing board, which is straight ahead of you, front of house kind of a guy, or uh, which should be fine, which is probably the best idea, plugging it directly into the mixing board, not going through other stuff, or into a stage box that is rather visible. So, um, but it looks as if signals are coming in, and that's pretty nifty.
So realistically, that is something I would do at NAMM. So we're now coming out of that Tone King over there. I'm going to level it a bit. That's of course too loud because it's much louder than my talking. And bang, I just made my Sennheiser E609 wireless. That's what I was looking for the whole freaking time. So that seems to work. Well, what about this? I don't want this. So let's go one further. XS Wireless Digital Instrument Base Set. It's the base set. Again, you can get it with the um, uh, pedal board receiver and all this. So what we have here is a clip. Ah, oh, this, oh, this, I like it. Oh, I can see what's happening. There's a, ooh, really nice. This is a nice flexi cable. I love you, Sennheiser. Look at this. This is an extender cable, so you don't have to take that huge transmitter and plug it into your freaking guitar, which some companies expect you to do, which is stupid. So here's this. Now, what else do we have? We have a charge cable, which is, why don't they, hmm. Hypothetically, I would say, why aren't there two charge cables in the box? Because both of them would be empty at the same time. You would have to charge them at the same time, which means you have to buy another USB to U a USB C to USB cable. Um, so that means if you don't have that and you only use what's in the box, you're going to have to double the charge time because you only have one cable. So first charge the transmitter and then charge the receiver, which is not the best way to do it. Um, the question is a couple of things. Let's look at this. One is transmitter, one is receiver. Oh, made in Romania. That's interesting. I was like, which one goes into the guitar and which one is, what, which one is transmitter, which one is receiver? Um, right here, for us idiots, there are pictures. Amp and guitar. Very, very nifty. My question is, how do I pair it with another receiver? Which you technically should be able to do but I don't know. I'm sure it's doable and we're not even gonna bother with it. So I can plug the guitar one and look at this. This of course bends up to over 90 degree. Really smooth, really nice. So you could plug this directly into here and then it kind of looks like that, which is okay. You could just take the guitar you're not wired. It's not the greatest way to do it, but it works. Let's look at that in a Strat. So if you go directly into the guitar, not the most sexy vintage look, but if you wanted to, it's possible. Now Ibanez, now Ibanez has these kind of hidden plugs. Does that work? Snug fit but it's possible. But obviously, they have an extension cable. So the way you would do this is nifty, nifty, really nice quality. I'm gonna go right next to this one. Let's see if it creates any problems being this close to my lapel mic. I'm gonna turn this one on. Looking, looking, looking. And it's connected. Remember, all the other stuff is still on. So right now we are recording wirelessly from the cab. This is a decent length. 
she said. So that's not an issue at all. I'm going to plug this straight into the amp. You can even either have it sticking out straight or just angle it like this so it's out of the way. Obviously, I'm, I'm in a noisy amp now. <laughs> Now, latency obviously is a big issue with these systems, and I feel nothing. We need to do a direct comparison, one cable to wireless, instead of going through my whole setup. Sounds exactly the same to me. So right now we've got six, yep, six wireless systems in parallel, and it works. So each system is 299, I think, what, 249? Two, I think 299 to 349, something like this. And based on this preliminary quick test, it works, and it's very likely gonna be the system that I'm gonna take to trade shows at least for guitar recording. If you're in a band, check out the vocal set. If you want to do videos, check out the laugh set. Uh, given the fact that you have to buy the XLR2 mini plug adapter. And to be safe in terms of battery life, it would make sense to buy two sets. Because hmm. with the AVX, you can buy the AVX set and then a battery for 39 and 49 or something, and then you have one spare battery, um, whereas with the XSW, you have to have a whole second set because the battery is fixed in the system. However, that is how Nox and x Vive and these other companies do it as well. I have experiences with the other systems, but they were not pleasant experiences. This, based on what we've just heard, is good. So I'm very happy to be able to use this when I'm on the road. So thanks Sennheiser for finally giving us something in a more affordable price range with your logo on it and your expertise and your sound. So thanks for sending that over and letting me make this video. This video was unpaid, but I do get to keep the gear. So thanks Sennheiser for that. And uh, I'm gonna link to it below. There's more options and more combinations that you can look at. So you can definitely find and combine and modularize your own system. So if you're into, into wireless and you need that, Sennheiser XSW could be for you. Thanks, Jesse, for switching. And we'll see you.